You don't use, you don't use the name of No. I put it right here. Oh, right here. No. So leave it right there. My holy what? for the show. And with your spirit. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
my brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our sister Tanisha, that she may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves, that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. So we sit as we listen now to the eulogy and to the tributes. Can I ask who's doing the eulogy? Peasant, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sister. We are here today to celebrate. We are here today to celebrate the life of Tanisha Celine Jackie, also known as Pinky, and to say goodbye to such a beautiful girl. For those of you who I haven't had the pleasure of meeting, I am Ruth Howard, the aunt of Tanisha. I would like to thank you all for coming here today to mourn the loss of Tanisha with me and her family. Tanisha was born on the 29th of February, 2024, she was the third child of Marsha and Clifton. Her brothers and sisters are Kanisha, Kadim, Kiara, Kiana, Jeremiah, and Azia. Tanisha attended the Holy Savior Anakin School, followed by St. Augustine's Secondary. She was <laughs> permanent a member of the Santa Cruz PNM Youth Club and the Red Cross Society. Pinky enjoyed sports such as gymnastics and running. Tanisha was full of life. She was feisty. She was loving, caring, sweet, free-spirited, and downright fun. Pinky had a drive for adventure and the seas. She enjoyed going on island adventures, hiking, local food runs, the beach, and having a blast with her friends and family. As you can imagine, anywhere that had water, she was the most present. Pinky had a love for all genres of music. She was a carnival baby. She was a starring member of Happy People to the point where her father would jump beside her throwing popcorn in the air, waving and entertaining the crowd as she crossed stage. She had a love for community sports, knowing she would be eager to participate in every race. She was so feisty to the point where she would even believe she could have been the bigger sister to Kadim by often challenging him to sibling fights. She was strong, brave, and fearless. Tanisha would go bike riding around Santa Cruz at the age of eight, river hunting and exploring the coca fields. She made the most of every situation at any age. As time flew past, she became more grown. Her values and morals have more heightened. She has craved peace, manifestation, and independence. The excitement of her getting her first job and opening her first bank account was priceless. She finally entered into her soft girl era. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. She even became a certified esthetician. She widened her career, trying new business frontiers, and hoping to also adventure more in the upcoming 2024. Gaining such independence as a young woman, she was determined to explore the world and see new wonders starting from her birthday this year. Tanisha was born on a leap year, 
So this year, she would have actually been five years old on the 29th of February. We often laughed at her age and she would get upset, but deep down, she was still happy to have two birthdays every year on the 29th of February and the 1st of March. I mean, who wouldn't like that? She was so special and unique and we were grateful for that. What made her feel she was even more grown was the fact that she can finally be, finally made it to the famous A-team group chat. Her sister and her friends welcome her with open arms to be a part of their circle. They nurtured her and made her last moment so enjoyable. They took her to her first Tobago trip and also made her gain new experiences, such as going new places, knowledge about maturity, and even the inner child memories she had. Pinky was full of laughter that she would mimic funny memes and it would now become in her daily language. She would greet everyone as a flappy. <laughs> End of the sentence as phenomenal, Roger that. Tanisha, I hope you know how much we miss you and love you. We were grateful to be a part of your life. You lift up every room and made people feel special. You were unyieldingly stubborn, but unfailingly generous. You were our pinky dinky do our George, our small baby Lou, our pinky dinks, I hope you are resting with the angels wrapping in their arms around you. A life of kindness and laughter, the love you, you had for your family and friends, you did the best for all of us and left behind a legacy, one all of us will remember. You have touched all of us here today, and heaven couldn't wait for you. We know you are smiling in heaven. It's hard to say goodbye to someone you had such big impact on our lives, but this is not a goodbye. This is a thank you. Thank you for coming into our lives and loving us and making us smile all the time. Thank you for the unforgettable memories you had made with us. We would never forget, but we will all cherish it forever. Thank you. Thank you yeah, on the program. Good evening. My name is Naomi and this is my friend Kumi. We were both close friends of They would need a you and they want to. So we speak louder. Okay. Good evening, my name is Naomi and this is my friend Kayumi. We were both close friends of Tanisha and I will be saying a few words about our friendship in honor of her memory today as we send off. Never in a million years would I have thought to be in this situation with an eulogy for my friend Tanisha. It breaks my heart that it has come to this. In late 2018, I met the most loving, caring, interesting, and funny person. And we immediately clicked and became the best of friends. I gave my love to her, and she gave her love to me generously and unconditionally. <laughs> the journey then began from there. Her home was mine, and my home, my home was hers. So, we bas so basically, I'm trying to say we live together. Every day we would wake up and make a plan about what to do for the day because if you know us, you know we would always be doing something crazy. I could remember this night we wanted to go to our party and we had to sneak out. By the time we was leaving the house, Kadim was sleeping on the couch and he heard us leaving and he started waking up. Tanisha ran outside so fast she hit her head on the door and it was the biggest bump I had ever seen in my life. We laughed about that for days. 
Far, fast forward in a couple of years, as we grew older, our friendship began to hit rocky roads, but we would always find a way to come back to each other. In 2022, I lost my brother to gun violence. When she found out what happened, being the kind person that she is, she messaged to give me her condolences and we rekindled our friendship like nothing had happened. While I was living in another country, she and Kayumi also formed a beautiful bond and there wasn't a day that they didn't message or call me. They wanted me to come home so bad and when I did, we all became inseparable. 2022 was the year our friendship matured and blossomed into something magical. We talked about all the things we wanted to do and how we were going to do it. Life became real and she wanted everything got out of it. And we would always give her our best advice and render our support to her. We talked about how we would live together and work for everything we wanted to not have to depend on anyone. And how I would become a boy mom and she would become a girl mom and Kiyomi would be the auntie. We talked about all the places we wanted to travel to and so much more plans that we had. It aches my heart that none of these plans will be fulfilled by her. I am still in disbelief that you are really gone, that you'd never be able to get everything that you wanted to create your own family, travel the world, and celebrate your fifth birthday this year. For those who didn't know, she was a leap year baby. I'll never be able to just come over and lay in silence while we were sending each other TikToks and laugh. I'm so sorry that I thought we had more time to fix us and do everything that we desired, but everything from now on would be in honor of your name, T. The question I keep asking myself, how are we supposed to be okay with this and move on in life? The only answer I could come up with is that we can't honestly. <laughs> Tanisha was so, so, so much more than just the life of a party. She was our friend, my shoulder to cry on, and the girl I could pop up by every day without having to ask. My venting buddy. I didn't have to watch my mouth around her because I knew my secrets were safe and that no judgment would ever be passed. When we were right, she'd say, and when we were wrong, she'd correct us because that's what friends do. She's the person who always included me when I felt left out. When I had a plan to do something, I would always ask her opinion and make no mistake, we were also that friend to her. Tanisha grew and matured so much over the years, especially in 2023, and only her real friends would know this. Her mindset and the things she would say and do drastically change for the better, so that the same mistakes would not be repeated, and for that I am so proud of her. You were robbed. You were robbed of life. You were robbed of fulfillment, robbed of your destiny, and robbed of, robbed of happiness, and so much more. Tanisha held a special place in so many of our hearts and now we are all broken into bits, not knowing how to carry on in this unjust life. May you be there in spirit to give each and every one of us here today who is hurting the strength needed. So I would leave you with this. I urge everyone who is here today and viewing, please stop the gun violence. If you know someone involved, talk to them, beg them if needed. Because of it, I lost someone I held closely to my heart and uncountable others have suffered this trauma. So I urge everyone, please stop this madness so we can live peacefully without fear in our hearts of who we might lose next. Tanisha, Celine, Jackie, thank you for gracing us with your presence and leaving us with so much memories, memories to cherish until our last days. Until we meet again, say hi to my brother and hi to Kayomi's dad for us. We love and miss you all tremendously. Thank you. So could we stand for the opening prayer? Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your son who died on the cross was raised from the dead the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Tanisha, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we sit now and listen to the readings.
Just to let you know, those who are outside, there are seats available. If you like, upstairs. Family member doing the reading. Nobody brave enough. Um, is it could you come and do the reading? Thanks. From the book, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. You have been taught that when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were, were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. But we believe that having died in Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
sisters and brothers, please stand. Father's house, says the Lord. Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you, I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So before you sit, we just want to invite the Holy Spirit to minister to us.
with us. We thank you, Lord, that you are our comforter and our friend. We thank you that we are gathered in the name of Jesus, your son. We thank you that wherever we are, you are, for we are in you and you are in us. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So you may sit, beloved ones. So good afternoon to you, brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our parish priest and our parishioners. We extend to the family, friends, well-wishers, all those of you who are here, we extend condolences to you, all those who are mourning in the afternoon. We say to you, and we speak to you today, words of comfort and encouragement. So, Ruth, Ruth was the one who was standing here. Yes? So Ruth, in, the, in her eulogy, she asked, how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? And beloved ones, I just want to share a few portions of scripture and words of encouragement to help you in dealing with this. And what is this? This is the death of a loved one. This is the death of a lovely young woman who I would say because of my age, she hasn't yet begun to live. And in the gospel, this is a situation, something like where we are at today. Jesus had just told his disciples that he would be leaving them. And because they had been journeying for three years together, he had been teaching, sharing, eating, drinking with them, much like Tanisha would have done in her childhood, in her early days. So I heard about the parties and the, all the things that young people do, that all of us now we look back and we could say we've been there and we had done that. But fortunately, when we look back, um, there were few times like this when in, at an early age, a child, because I'm calling her a child, would lose her life in a tragic manner. Is it to say that when Isidra, I don't think Isidra ever went to a party yet. Many of us, when we went to parties, we went to have a good time. We loved music. We, we would dance. We would have fun. And if there was any disagreement among anybody, it wouldn't end up with, in, with no gunplay, no knife. Fists and feet were the order of the day. That is how people used to settle the argument. But today is a different story. So today you and I know that if you step on somebody's white sneaker, the possibility is that you may have to answer somewhere outside or in, true or false. Yeah? Talk to me, young people. Answer, say yay or nay. Because you're sitting here now at the funeral of your friend. And in asking, 
how are we going to deal with this? I dare to tell you that the only how we could deal with grief, sorrow, with life, is with God in the midst. If we leave him out, then we are in trouble. Because we are in trouble. Trinidad and Tobago, our communities, we are in trouble. There is no other word to use. When we look around at what is happening, we are sad, we are dismayed. It's not only you, Ruth, who would ask, how are we going to deal with this? The disciples were sad when Jesus told them that he would be leaving. And he, in this passage, is answering them and he's saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. Imagine if Jesus was here today and he would ask us and he would tell us, in the midst of the pain, do not let your hearts be troubled. We might ask him, well, man, how are we going to do that? How are we going to live in peace? How are we going to dry the tears? How are we going to deal with the anger? But Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, Jesus, who is our rock, our refuge, our hiding place, he has the answer and he is the answer to all the questions, to all the pain, to all the disappointment. When we come to a place of trusting in him, of acknowledging him, then we are able to deal with all the things that we are dealing with today. And I dare to tell you, even when you are walking with Jesus, it is so easy sometimes to lose hope. It is so easy sometimes to lose courage. And that is the reason why God in his wisdom has left us with his word, the word of God, that we could refer to it, that we could read it, that we could enter into it and find consolation for Jesus is the word himself. He is the word of God. And when he told his disciples, his friends, trust in God, the advice is the same today. Trust in me. We trust and we put great trust in man, in woman, in things. But often we leave out the most important thing, trusting in God who holds today and tomorrow in his hands. He holds your life and my life in his hands. He watches over us. He is a promise keeper. He is faithful. So if today you want an answer to every question that you are asking, know that the answer can be found in Jesus he is the way to happiness, the way to peace. He is, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the comforter. And when we have a relationship with him, then we come to understand how life can be lived every day, every day. Every day when we get up and we open our eyes, we recognize that we are not here by guess that it is because of a good God that you and I can, can see today and hopefully we will see tomorrow. God is with us. He hears our every cry. He dries our tears. He knows where to touch. He knows where we are wounded. He said, there are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. So there's a place 
reserved for each and every one of us if we want it. If we want it. God is good. We, say, we sing that all the time. Do you know the little chorus? God is a good God. Hello? Anybody here? Do you know God is a good God? You think you want to sing it? God is a good God. Oh, God is a good God. Hey, God is a good God. God is a good God. him to he will lift us up if we give him the opportunity and the chance if we say to him yes lord i want you to lead i want you to direct me i want you to for there are many many promises in the word for example psalm 32 8 says i shall instruct you and teach you the way to go. I shall not take my eyes off you. That's 32.8. And we must understand from this that God who knows everything, when we have a relationship with him, he is willing to show us how to go. For often we don't know. Just like Thomas asking um, Jesus, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? The same applies to us today. Lord, we don't know what to do. Lord, we don't know what direction to take. Because in truth and in fact, we don't know. Many times we think we know. We make decisions based on, 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 on things we think are facts. And then when you get to the bottom of it, we don't know. So we make decisions and we find ourselves very often regretting them. We find ourselves in a good pickle because what we decide to do often bring us heartache and pain. I want to highlight this in the context of parents and parenting because if we are truthful, half of the trouble that we are in today it's because of parenting. Now, I'm not saying any, I'm not throwing anything for you. Um, I'm looking for mommy. Marsha and Clifton. I'm talking to all of us. All of us. Because all of us have been, those of us who are adults, we have been have had children. And you and I know in this time, it's even more difficult to, to bring up children. There are so many challenges, added challenges, than what we experienced when we were growing up as children. You might say it was easier. Isidra, was it easier? You might say that we were more obedient. That may not necessarily be true. Because there were many of us who were stubborn and rebellious. But we were living in a different time. And when our parents tried to teach us, sometimes, if we are truthful, I want to talk the truth, sometimes we would listen. And sometimes when it suited us, we, we wouldn't. And for those times when we didn't, um, we paid for it. Yes? In some form or the other. Some had swizzle stick, some had pot spoon. 
some had belts, but we were disciplined, we were corrected, we were made to see the error of our ways. And today, it's not that some parents are not doing it, but when we look at our little ones, when I look at my grandchildren and realize the, the challenge and how from early o'clock our little ones challenge us. Once upon a time, you could have watched your children and they would understand what the look meant and they would respond to suit. But now when we look at our children, they look back at us like war. Like war. Because all of a sudden, all of us, same age. And maybe we are because of how we are behaving as parents. It's a sad thing when Marsha and Clifton have to sit here today and we sit in with them. It's a sad thing. What do we do about it? What are we going to do now? We give God a chance. We gave God a chance to turn our lives around. We say to God, have your way in my life, in my family. Lord, I have been making a mess. We humble ourselves. We go before him and we say, I thought that I was doing the right thing. I thought I was giving a good example. I thought, tell him that God is a good God and God is love. And so when we go to him and we bow and we humble ourselves, the words say he will not turn us away. No, he will, he will forgive. He will restore. He will make whole. Even as we experience troubling things, we go to him and we cry before him and we ask him to show, show me what to do. Show me. And the word says, and you hold on to it. Lord, your word say that you will instruct me. Your word say you will teach me the way to go. Your word say that your eyes are always on me, looking at me. Prompting me, moving me. Psalm 31, 24 says, Be brave, take heart, all who put your hope in God. And you and I know if ever we needed courage to be parents, it's now because our children are challenging us. A few days ago, my son, um, I have two sons. Each one of them have three daughters. This particular son, his daughter bought, um, had bought um, one of those power drinks. Help me, Nina. I don't drink it, so I really know the name. It, it was a Red Bull. It, monster. Uh, yeah, it could have been a monster. No. Anyway... So she had started to drink it. And he, he looked back and he said, um, what are you doing with that? You don't need no energy drink. You are young and you have your energy. And she continued sipping on it. And her sister, who was sitting next to her, said, but daddy, you are the parents. You are the Say the last word, you are the, yeah, meaning that all you have to do is to, hello, but somehow we have come to a place where many of us as parents and grandparents, ask Hazel, we are timid in correcting our children and grandchildren for one reason or the other. But at the end of it all, who loses? Hmm. Listen to me. 
as parents and grandparents, take the attitude. Take the attitude and say what you have to say and correct and guide and instruct and pray and cry because at the end of it, we don't want to be sitting in here burying no young, beautiful child. Why do I say that? She died at the point of a gun. That is not normal behavior. That is abnormal. It's becoming normal because it's happening so often. But that's abnormal behavior. And when we don't train our children, that is going to be the end result. When we don't train them and encourage them to be obedient, Scripture say that Jesus was obedient even to the point of death. He loved his father so much that he went on the cross for all of us to pay the price. That is obedience. Which one of us ever had to be obedient to the point of death? None of us. When we are obedient to God, our maker, there are only blessings to reap. So our young people, and all of us too, we like nice drive. We like brand name things. You want a cute ve vehicle, but the vehicle comes with a manual. And some of us have um, one of my daughters, her father-in-law, he washes his vehicle three times a day. Three times a day, it must be looking good. Dust mustn't be on it. You know what? Look at us. We have an owner. We have a manual, which is the word of God. We have instructions that he left for us so that you and I, if we follow them, we will have life in all its abundance. That is not to say that we would not have trouble. The same words say in the world, you will have trouble, but be brave for I have conquered. So what's happening with us? The plain truth is we don't have time for God. The plain truth is we are paying more attention to other things. So we thought today, I don't know if you got one of the little pages with just a few scripture quotations. And they are just to help us because we need help. We need to remember that God is with us. We need to remember that we have to trust in God and do what is right. We need to remember that God is both a refuge and a strength a help always ready in time of trouble. So we shall not be afraid. This is Psalm 46. The mountains tumble into the depths of the sea. That no matter what happens, we could hold on to God because he is faithful. Weeping endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Yes, we're going to miss her, but be careful that we don't make an about turn in our own lives so that this story is not repeated. We want to live and we want our young people to live lives that are fulfilling, lives of blessing. How do they do it if we don't encourage them? How do they do it if we don't give proper example and proper guidance? How are they going to do it if we don't stand up with them and share with them the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus? Brothers and sisters, we could change this. We could fix this if we invite God in and he will not turn us away. He came that we may experience life. He says to us, I will not take my eyes off of you. So we turn to him and we say to him every morning, Lord, 
Watch over me. Protect me as I go out and as I come in. Guard me, Lord, that I shall not be careless with the things I say and do to bring harm and hurt to anybody. And save me from the carelessness and the wickedness of others who may wish to do me harm. We surrender. We give God a chance. We ask him. And when we ask him, he never fails. You know, there are some people who I'm saying, ask me for anything, man, our girl. And when you reach by them and you ask, well, boy, I have a situation. I have a this. No, with God, there is no situation. He's our provider. He's the source of our strength. He's the source of our courage. He's the source of all that we need. So I say to you, Marsha and Clifton, and all the others who love this beautiful little girl, hmm. be brave. Take heart. All you who put your hope in God and know that he never fails. May God give us the grace to come to a place to bowing our knee and surrendering our lives to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There is no other way that we can face what we're facing today. No other way. He will carry us by his grace, by his strength. How are we going to deal with this? By the grace and the power of God. May you be comforted. May you allow God to dry your tears. But more than that, may you allow God to give you and I the courage to guide, to nurture, to direct our children so that we would not have situations like this to deal with that will cause us sleep without end, anger without end, all the emotions that we go through, that we would empty it out on our God who is great and who is mighty and who loves us with an everlasting love. Amen? Amen. Amen. I don't think we've taken up any offering. No, okay. Now it's supposed to be the offering. We're not taking up any. Okay. So we stand. There will be no offering taken. God, the Almighty Father, he raised Christ, his son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For Tanisha, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who are mourning, for Masha and for Clifton, for Kanisha and Kadim and Kiara and Kiana, 
Jeremiah, Isaiah, for all the cousins, for all those who are blood and neighbor related, for the grandparents, for all those who are grieving, we pray that you may be consoled in your grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for all our departed brothers and sisters, for Tanisha, Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, Hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive Tanisha her sins. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So you may say it. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our little sister. That our, may our farewell express our affections for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroy even death itself.
in your sight may she live forever forgive whatever sins she committed through human weakness and in your goodness lord grant her everlasting peace As we commit her body to the earth in the spirit of faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead we offer our prayers for her because God has chosen to call our sister to himself we commit her body to the earth for we are dust and unto dust we shall return but the Lord Jesus Christ, he will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So we commend our sister to the Lord that he may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. We stand. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, may it keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all. Give us all that we need to go on. And may his love console each and every one of us. May he gently wipe every tear from your eyes. And we pray this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Tanisha, may the angels lead you into paradise. Into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And where Lazarus is born no longer, may you find eternal rest. Beloved ones, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. So we sing.
destroy it. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you if you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold I believe when your day's down here through There's a place up there for people like you if you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved There's a place for people like you Streets are made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold I believe When your day's down here or through There's a place Up there For people like you
people like you I know you're out there So keep doing what you do Cause there's a place up there For people like you I wish the heaven had visiting hours So I could just show up And bring the news that she's getting older And I wish that you met her The things that you learned from me I got them all from you Can I just stay? The little ones will grow and I'll still drink your favorite wine And soon they're going to close but I'll see you another day So much has changed since you've been away I wish that heaven had visiting us so I could just swing by And ask your advice What would you do in my situation? I haven't a clue how I'd even raise them What would you do? Cause you always do what's right And we just talk a while Until my worries disappear I'll tell you that Say, remember that the answer's in the letter that we feel. So much has changed since you've been I could take you home But I know what they'd say That it's for the best So I will live life the way you taught me And make it on my own I will close the door But I will open up my heart And everyone I love will know exactly who you are Since you've been Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just 
just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming. You're not really gone as long as I believe. There will be another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me, and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight always made my troubles feel so small and you were always there to catch me when I'd fall in a world where heroes come and go well God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day When I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside and I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Don't cry for me, don't shed a tear I've been set free, no need to fear God spoke to me, my time had come He made a way to bring me home Don't cry for me, my pain is gone forever Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. I saw the light, I took his hand. We flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place. With all his glory, with all his grace, don't cry. Soon be back to get 
together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. My pain is gone. Please understand. My passing was in God's great plan. I'm with you still, each day and night. Just close your eyes. I'll hold you tight. Don't cry for me. My pain is gone forever. Don't cry for me. My body's been made whole. Don't cry for me. We'll soon be back together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. I'm in your heart. I feel your pain. Don't give up hope. Our love remains. I'll wait for you at heaven's door. We'll meet again one day for sure. Don't cry. Cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. Don't shed a tear. I've been set free. No need to fear. Don't cry. Together, don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Which way is it open up? Oh, it's on this side.